Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. All right folks, in this Tips and Tricks episode, we're gonna head out on the boat and I'm gonna take you over the shallow reef and show you how to troll one of the most productive fishing lures in the world, the white bucktail jig. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, so like I said, we're gonna head out on the boat. We're gonna troll the white bucktail jig. We're gonna show you how to find the structure that we're looking for when we troll a reef, which is ledges that range from 50 to 70 feet. We're gonna go over what speed you need to be doing and a few other aspects and tips and tricks that'll help put you into the bite. So we're not gonna waste much more time. We're gonna head out on the boat right now. Currently in about just over 200 feet, and we're gonna head into about 55 feet of water. Don't be afraid to fish over the reef, troll over the reef. It is entirely enticing to fish, especially when using a white bucktail jig. You can see we've got contour lines, which means our slope of our reef is coming up. We're gonna go over here, travel over there to where the big relief structure of the reef is. I'm gonna show you how that works, where there's sharp ledges. We're gonna troll over those. See if we can get in a fight with something. So we're up patrolling with this bro jig. It's real quick. That's one of the great things about trolling with a white bucktail jig. You've got it on a spinner, you pitch it out, you can get up and going within minutes. We've got our Penn Spin Fisher 5500 on a seven foot Penn Battalion rod. The class rating for this trolling setup is 12 to 20 pound class. The reel is spooled with a 12 pound test. And we have a 20 pound test for carbon leader, about 10 feet or so of it on there. So that we, uh, you know, can get that little bit of a stealthy approach. So we're gonna head over, hit the reef's edge, that first reef in between, you know, 50 and 70 feet. We're gonna show you what these ledges look like. Troll around them. See if you can get into that bite. Have a little bit of fun. And again, we're fishing with light gear. If you're ever out with the family and you know, things are a little slow, it's always great to troll on the reef. You're not heading way offshore, halfway to the Bahamas or anything, looking for maybe that one dolphin that might bite. Again, light gear trolling. What we're trying to do is show you that trolling has no set boundaries. It can literally be done anywhere. Once you get that uh, head out the water, they're done. There we go. I'm gonna do a tail grab. There we go. False albacore. Woohoo! There we go. 
shallow water trolling with the white bucktail jig, half ounce. False albacore, some of the greatest fighting fish in the world. All right, we're gonna let him go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss out the white bucktail jig about one more time. See if maybe we can get into another bite, which would be great. Trolling light tackle, the white bucktail jig. One of my favorite ways to troll. You're not gonna catch every fish that you hook. You're gonna have to accept that. But if you're gonna have some fun, get out with the family, get out with some friends, get out with some colleagues, whomever. Trolling is the way to go. Most definitely, if you're looking to cover a lot of ground, Get into that bite. Learn your fishery. Learn what fish you're going after. When they're around. What you're looking for that they might be around, hanging around, so that you can get into that hookup. Is it legends? Is it forms of life? Is it structures like wrecks? All sorts of different things entice the impulse to feed on fish that are actively hunting. So just always bear these basic tactics in mind. Gonna get up to speed. We're doing about just over seven knots right now. White bucktail jig. The one I got on this rod is a half ounce. I let you know how tiny this lure is. So you've got to be cautious when you're trolling with smaller lures. The concept of trolling with smaller lures can be confusing. You have to understand the faster that you go, the smaller the profile becomes in the water. So when trolling with a smaller lure, you need to be aware of how your speed. If you're going too fast, you've diminished the profile. However, white bucktail jigs are very enticing. They're white. They contrast everything that they go against. Doing seven knots with a half ounce white bucktail jig is perfectly okay. said you know earlier when we hooked up you know false albacore are some of the greatest fighting fish in the world they're always swimming they never stop swimming and you know come june july here off the southeast coast of florida they're relentless you're gonna hook them so you may as well learn to embrace them if you're, uh, you know, if you're, if you're trolling for them for bait, it's one of the most effective ways to stock up on bait for the rest of the year. Light tackle fishing, catching, you know, solid 10 pound fish is always great. Can't, you know, can't deny the, the fun factor in it. If you're not used to it, if your stamina is not built up, yeah, you're going to go home sore, but you know what? You're going to go home with memories. You just persuade them with the tip of your rod and the base of it, which is where the power comes from. And you take your time and you get them up to the boat. This guy's still kind of fresh, but as I've said before, you get that head out of the water, that takes all the fight out of them. And Benita in the boat. False albacore. All right, folks, so that was some good old fashioned fishing fun with the white bucktail jig. Ultra effective fishing lure. I've always said, if I had one lure, and one lure only, to choose to fish with for the rest of my life, it would be this, the white bucktail jig. I've caught more fish with this in my life than any other lure. Now granted, in the video, all you saw us was catching false albacore, but don't get it wrong. You're gonna catch a lot more than that when you troll a reef. You're gonna catch fish like mutton snapper. You're also gonna catch mackerel like kingfish. There's many species that will hit trolled lures over the reef you're going to catch fish ranging from small fish like blue runners and you're going to get bigger fish like barracuda that'll hit it too all right so what i want to do before we wrap this up is i want to take you and i want to show you how to rig up the white bucktail jig for trolling so that you can take it out to the reef have a great time with the family this is most definitely a family friendly fishing trend fishing with light tackle to tie your spro jig 
onto your line. This is what you're gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need your white bucktail jig. You're gonna need your six to seven feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, a cutting tool, and you're gonna need your main line, which is attached to your reel. The first thing we're gonna do on our main line attached to our fishing reel is we're going to tie a loop called a spider hitch. To do this, I take about 12 to 16 inches and I form a loop. I'm gonna pinch my line and leave about three inches of tag over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and I'm going to form a loop. So I have the big end of the loop and then I have this loop that I just formed. Now, I'm going to take the free end of the loop and I'm going to wrap it around my index finger and this initial loop three times. One, two, three. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the free end of this loop here and I'm going to send it back into that loop that I just made and pinched together. Then I will grab that and I will slowly pull it out thus forming the knot called the spider hitch. Pull it slowly, pull on both ends, pull your main line against the loop, then you'll pull your tag end against the loop, and there you have it. That is a spider hitch loop. We are going to clip off our tag, Now we are going to attach our fluorocarbon leader to our spider hitch loop. The way you find the center of the loop is you will take the tag end of your fluorocarbon and you're going to put it through your loop and you are going to just pull on it. So when you're pulling on it, this point right here is the center of your loop. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to take about four to five inches of tag on your fluorocarbon leader. We're going to pinch right at the center of that loop. Now, we're going to tie a no-name knot, which is essentially a reverse clinch knot. You're going to go, instead of tying it against itself, doing loops around it and sending the line back through, the line creeps up against the main line. So, we're going to pull seven twists against the main line. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we are going to send a tag back through this little loop that's been created right here on our hand, where fingers are pinching the center of the loop. And then we are going to cinch down on it as if we were tying a clinch knot. That is a no-name knot right there. Now you'll want to take your cutting tool and trim it off. So we've got the spider hitch, which is a loop attached to the no-name knot. Now we're going to attach the lure, which is our half ounce white bucktail jig. We're going to, to attach that with a clinch knot. So we're going to put our leader through the eye of the lure right here. And then we're going to do a basic clinch knot. Now fluorocarbon can be abrasive, so I'm not going to do seven wraps. I'm only going to go with six on this. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to send our tag end back through that little pinched loop. All right. Grab your lure by the head and cinch down on it. Remember, a clinch knot is a 90 degree perpendicular finished knot. If you don't have that nice perfect finish, retie it. You don't want lure failure. You'll lose your lure, you'll lose your fish. Not a good day.
All right, so that is how you tie that lure. All right, so that is the basics of how you rig this up for trolling. It's light gear, light tackle, light mono, light fluorocarbon. You're not gonna wanna use wired leader. Yes, you do run across the toothy critters every once in a while and you are gonna lose one, but I can promise you, you will catch more than you will lose lures. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun, hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit about trolling the white bucktail jig over the reef. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.